through a little five minute Strala yoga routine to strengthen your glutes and your legs. So start at the front of your mat, nice relaxed stance, soften your knees, relax your shoulders. Just let your shoulder blades slide down your back, everything soft and then start to turn your belly one way and then the other, just allowing your arms to just go along for the ride. Just a nice easy turning of the belly so that the arms swing. And then let that movement begin to dissolve. Come to a nice balanced place. A big breath in, float your arms all the way out and up, bring your palms together at the top. And as you breathe out, soften and fold all the way up and over your leg. Drop your head, drop your neck, little sway from side to side. And then you're going to roll up, keeping your head and neck super soft, rolling up vertebra by vertebra, notch by notch. Let your head float up last. Shifting the weight side to side. We'll take the weight into your left side and float this right leg up. A little roll through the hips here, maybe squeezing that knee in for a little hug. Drop the knee down, take your foot from the inside, soften your standing leg. As you breathe in, press the foot into the hand, extending forward, just nice calm gaze, easy dancer pose. Release that foot, squeeze the shin in for a little hug. Place the foot back down. Inhale through the nose, reaching up. And as you exhale through the nose, sinking into a chair pose. A nice, easy going, comfy armchair. So make sure you're movable. Inhale through the nose, reaching up. And as you exhale, just release your arms down by your side. A little sway from side to side, everything relaxed. We'll sway towards your right foot, floating this left knee up. Little shin hug, everything easy. Drop the knee down, take the foot from the inside. Standing leg is soft, relax. As you breathe in, just gently extend forward, pressing your foot into your hand. Nice calm gaze, everything easy. When you're ready, release. Bring your knee back in towards your chest, little roll around, we'll place that foot back down. As you inhale, bend the knees and reach your fingertips up and as you exhale, sink into your chair pose. So linger here a moment, make sure you're movable, maybe rock a little forward and back from the toes to the heels on the soles of your feet and let the weight settle back into your heels. And then we're going to, we're going to reach up and we're going to take it to an eagle pose. So cross your left leg over, bring your left arm under, bring your palms together, sink through the hips and lift up through the fingertips. If you can wrap that foot behind the path, that's great. But if you feel too wobbly, just bring your toes down, lift up through the fingertips, drop down through the hips. Lift up through the fingertips, drop down through the hips. You're going to unravel, reach your arms all the way up to shoulder width distance apart. And as you breathe out, sink back into your chair pose. Nice, calm, easy breath, everything movable. And then we'll take it to the other side, reaching up. Cross your right foot over, tap the foot toe down to begin with. Bring the right arm under, bring the palms together. You can wrap your foot around the calf or keep your toes down. Nice, calm breath. Lift up through the fingertips, sink down through the hips. Lift up through the fingertips, sink down through the hips. I'm going to unravel now, reach everything up. Bring the palms together, find a gentle back bend. And then we'll soften and fold. Drop your head and neck. A little sway from side to side. Sway towards the left side, float your right foot back. You're on the ball of your right foot, nice wide stance, we're going up. Big inhale rolls you all the way up. As you exhale, bend the knees, relax the shoulders, drop down through the hips. Linger here. A nice calm breath. Inhale lifts you up. Exhale. 
and breathe through your nose as often as you can. Inhale through the nose. Mouth is gently closed. Exhale. Whisper sound. One more breath. Inhale, reaches all the way up. Exhale through the nose. Whisper sound. Well done. Reaching all the way up. Bring your palms together, bend the knees, soften and fold forward, fingertips meet the mat and you're going to step that back foot forward. Drop your head and neck, gentle sway if it feels nice and to lace your hands behind your back, nice shoulder opener, gentle sway from side to side. Take a big breath in now, lift and length and look forward to a long flat back. Exhale through the nose. Carefully release your hands down and float your left foot back. Nice stable base. Big breath in, rolls you all the way up. Finger here. Relax the shoulders, drop down through the hips. Each breath, each inhale lifting you, each exhale softening you. And we'll go all the way back down, fingertips meet the mat, step that back foot forward. Take the weight into this left foot, bring that right knee into your chest, take a hold of that right shin, roll up from here, vertebra by, by vertebra, all the way up through the middle, bringing this leg up with you. A little roll through the hips. Take this left hand to the outside of that bent knee and twist towards the bent knee, extending your right arm out. Well done. You can linger here if this is enough for you. If you're feeling really balanced, unlike me, slide your hand down to your foot and perhaps extend the foot, something to try. And when you're ready, squeeze the shin in for a little hug. Drop the knee down, take your ankle from the inside, back to our dancer pose. As you inhale, gently press your foot into your hand, extending forward, everything easy. Don't lock the knee of your standing leg. Release, squeeze that shin in for a little hug, back to your eagle pose, wrapping your foot behind. You can bring the toe down if you need it for balance. Right hand comes under. Drop down through the hips and lift up through the fingertips. Drop down through the hips and lift up through the fingertips. Big breath in, lift everything up. We'll take a gentle dive all the way up and over. Fingertips down, drop the head and neck, send those toes up to the sky and then soften here. Bring both feet down together, drop your head and neck. We're going to roll up to stand, vertebra by vertebra, head comes up last. Once your head comes up, big breath in, floating your arms all the way out and up. Find a gentle back bend, and as you breathe out, we'll soften and fold all the way up and over your legs. Drop your head and neck. Sway towards the right side, bring your left knee into the chest, left hand on the left shin. You're going to roll up through the spine, bringing that leg up with you. A little roll through the hips. Well done. Bring your right hand to the outside of that knee, twisting towards the front knee, opening up. You can slide it down and extend the leg if you feel balanced enough. Just something to try. We'll squeeze the shin in for a little hug. We'll take it to our dancer, dropping the knee down. Everything relaxed to begin with. As you breathe in, breathe in through the nose, extend your foot, pressing it into your hand. Extend your right hand forward. Nice, calm, easy gaze. And then we'll release, cross this left foot over, bring this left arm under, drop down through the hips and lift up through the fingertips. If you can wrap, that foot around the calf muscle, that's great too, something to try. Drop down through the hips and lift up through the fingertips. Big breath in, lifts everything up. We'll take that gentle dive all the way up and over. Fingertips meet the mat, drop your head and neck. And then soften your knees and lower your feet back 
down to the mat. Bend the knees and walk your feet apart. Turn your toes out. Press down through the palms and sink down through your hips, coming into a squat. So roll through the hips here. Make sure your hips are nice and movable. Bring your palms together. It might feel nice to press your knees out with your elbows, something to try. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Whisper sound. Hands behind you, ease your hips down and come into a nice comfortable seated position. And there you have it, a short five minute routine to build strength in your legs and your glutes. But like in all Strala classes, we move from the center. So the whole practice is always holistic, but you'll feel, you'll feel that in the muscles of your bottom. So have a go, let me know how it goes and have a wonderful day.